What's up, Cal Gang? Welcome back to physics. So let's solve this torque question. So we have a wrench here, and we're applying torque to the end of it. Right, it's acting at this angle, so it's distance away from the nut. So for part A, we want to find what torque is exerted on the nut. So let's go ahead and solve that. So the equation we're going to be using for this is that torque is equal to force times distance times sine of theta. So torque is basically just force times distance. And then if it's at an angle, it's going to be different. So what's our force going to be? Well, we have that 17 newton force. So let's go ahead. You know that we have 17 newtons. What's the distance? Well, the distance from the force to the nut is 25 centimeters. So converted to meters is 0.25 meters. And then sine of theta. Well, what's that angle going to be? Well, you might be tempted to use that 37 degree angle. However, it's not exactly that. What we're going to do is we're taking the torque from the nut. So we're taking it from here. We're going to draw a line from the place we're taking the torque around until we reach this. So this is our radius here. So radius, we're going to then extend from here, and we're going to draw an angle from that extended radius to the line. And so this is 180 minus 37, which is 143 degrees. So we're actually going to be using 143 degrees here. Uh, what would happen is you would get the exact same thing, so it doesn't make a difference. However, make sure that in the future you pay attention to that because it's going to make a difference in our later problems. So this is the method for finding that angle. I'm going to use 143 here. Because right? 143 and 37, they have the same value if you plug it into sine. So you solve this. You know, the torque is equal to 2.56 newton meters. So this is the torque that, the, uh, that he applies on the wrench. So for part B, we're asking what's the maximum torque that he could exert on this wrench, right? So right now he's applying it at a 37 degree angle, right? It's not that much force. He could apply more force, and how would we do that? Well, we could change the angle, right? Sine of, sine of 143 is not a very big number. It's a very, um, it's like, what would it be? It'd probably be like half or something similar to that. So how can we maximize that angle? Well, sine is maximized at at 90 degrees, right? Because sine of 90 is equal to 1. And that's the maximum value you can get with sine. So what we want to do is we want to pull at a 90 degree angle. So instead of pulling at that 37 degree angle, we could instead pull at a 90 degree angle. That would be 90 degrees. And now if we pull at a 90 degree angle, our new equation is going to look like, right, we're going to have the same exact force. We're going to have the same distance. But it's going to be sine of 90, which is just equal to 1. So then all we're doing is multiplying those numbers together, and you get that the torque nu would be 4.25 newton meters. So we can almost pull twice as hard just by changing that angle. So yeah, that's, the, that's how you solve this question. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Check out my playlist. Uh, check out my channel. Thanks for your support, and I'll see you. Peace.